I'm live, oh, I'm live, oh. Okay. I am live. Cassava leaf is African food, so you have to wear the African, African outfit. Yeah, yeah. Was, was, was. <laughs> How you guys doing? Good evening, good evening, good evening. We eat up all the chicken, we eat up all the lobster. Now it's time to cook some real food. Aisha, come on, look, look cook. Beautiful dress. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Vicky. This is so pretty. I love it. I love it. I love it. Aisha, come on. Let's cook. So, guys, I'm going to use oxtails and goat meat for my cassava leaves, okay? Oxtail and goat meat. Hello, Jackie. How are you, Jackie? How are you doing? So, let me show you guys what I'm doing. This is the meat. Um, this is the water that came from the meat, okay? I just add some more water. I didn't want to waste all that good seasonings in this water, okay? So, for some of you guys that come from um, Sierra Leone, somebody going to say, oh, why is she cooking cassava leaves like that? Okay, the reason, when I boil my meat, I overcook the meat. Right now, the meat is too soft. So, I take it out of the water because I don't want it to smash. Because if I start boiling the meat now and put all the ingredients... It's going to smash. So I took the meat out. Now I'm going to cook my cassava leaf first. Then after I cook my cassava leaf, then I'll put my meat back. So I just want to explain that, okay? Everybody cook different. And we have like 10 different ways of cooking African food. 10 different ways. You can choose the way you want to cook yours. This is my cassava leaves, guys. I'm going to use one cassava leaf. The medium size. They have the large, medium, and small. This is medium. So I'm putting my cassava leaves in here. I'm going to let the cassava leaf boil with the water and all that good seasonings in there. For those of you that are asking, this is cassava leaves. If you go to any African store, look for this brown. Nina. Nina cassava leaf. It's so beautiful. Nina International, the best brown. Trusted quality since 1985. So they started this company. I was not even born yet. I was born in 1980. This lady is from Ghana. She started this company in 19... No. 1985. I was born already, but I'm five years old. <laughs> I'm confused. 1985. I was five years old, guys. This lady is a millionaire. She's from Ghana. She have this company all over America. This is how I want my seasoning to go all over America. Just like this lady. She's from Africa. Her product is all over America. In all African stores, they have this product. Nina. Nina International. She have the best product when it comes to African food. So any African store you go, just tell them, I want Nina cassava leaf. They're going to pick it up and give it to you. Then you can go home and cook. Okay? So now we have the cassava leaves in here and the uh, seasoned water, the seasoning water or the water that I took the meat out. So you're going to have to let these cassava leaves boil because the leaves have to cook, okay? 
So let me go look for my peanut butter. I'm coming right back. Let me get my peanut butter. You have to use creamy peanut butter when you do cassava leaves. Mm -hmm. Buy the one with no sugar. <laughs> Buy the one with no sugar, okay? This is creamy peanut butter. This is uh, Peter Pan. Creamy peanut butter, um, sugar free. So that's what I'm gonna use on my cassava leaves. We have to let the cassava leaves boil. But while it's boiling now, I'm gonna pick my fish. This is the meat, oxtails and goat meat. I don't know if I'm gonna use all this meat because I'm only using the medium cassava leaves, so maybe I'll use half of this meat. But this meat is all is already marinated, boiled with um, chef ruby all-purpose seasonings. Okay, so I'll put it to this side. Now I'm gonna go ahead and season my cassava leaf with my all-purpose seasonings. Put your all-purpose seasonings in anything that you cook that have meat. So we're gonna mix it, mix the cassava leaf so the seasonings can go in. All right, guys. Are you guys taking note? Then we're gonna put some palm oil in here. African palm oil. This one is sleepy, so let me put it down. I have the other one here. African palm oil, this is from Sierra Leone. If you go to any African store, look for this brand too. This is the best palm oil I've ever used in America. Best palm oil. Most of them have a taste on them, but this one is good. So I'm gonna put some palm oil. So the reason you put in the palm oil, you want the palm oil to cook, to be well done with the cassava leaf. Oh, my charger, my battery is dying. Get me the charger, please. So, we're gonna put our ogre. I call this ogre. It's like um, fermented sesame seed. Hi, Stephanie. How are you? I'm cooking some cassava leaves all the way from the motherland. So I'm boiling my cassava leaves now in my um, in my leftover water from the meat. I add some more water in there. Now I put my all-purpose seasonings. And I put some palm oil, it's boiling together. So this is fermented, they call it shrimp paste. It's from China. But um, it's, it tastes like fermented sesame seed. It gives your food good flavor, especially cassava leaves and potato leaves. So if you are from Africa, from Sierra Leone, you wanna cook cassava leaves, you don't have ogre, fermented sesame seed, go to any Go to any um, farmer's market and look for this um, shrimp paste. This is the brand. Look at the bottom. When you go to the, to the farmer's market, to the Chinese people's stuff area, you're going to find this thing there. Shrimp paste. It's very good. It looks like paste. It's very good for, for your food. It gives your food a very good flavor. Okay? What happened? What happened? Come, come. Hmm? Is Nazma? What Nazma do? Mm -hmm. I'm cooking now. So I'm gonna mix these cassava leaves. You have to let it cook. What you looking at? Asha, you wanna cook? Mix it. Hold a spoon. You sabi eat boy, no sabi cook. Don't look at your head. Mix the food. Hold it. Hold a spoon. Asha, go to stop. Mix it. Mix it. Mm hmm. Aisha. <laughs> Aisha said, don't oh, burn me. <laughs> she don't want to do it. Hold the spoon and mix, girl. Mix. Hmm? You mix it. You know what is that? Cassava leaves. <laughs> when she feel the heat, she's scared. Mm -hmm. Say hello. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Go over there, let me cook, okay? Go to grandma. Go to grandma. Go kiss the baby. Go give the baby a kiss for me. Mm -hmm. She don't like me. She blow a kiss for the baby. So we have our cassava leaves boiling. Then I'm gonna put my uh, peanut butter in there. 
you want everything to boil almost the same time so now i'm going to take some peanut creamy peanut butter this is one scoop okay yeah i'm going to take another scoop you have to put enough peanut butter because it's the peanut butter going to make your cassava leaves soft if you don't put peanut butter in your cassava leaves it's, it's going to look um uh it's going to look mushy but when you put the peanut butter it makes your cassava leaves soft so i just put um two full scoop or maybe three full scoop and half just put as much as you want africa we don't measure food we only cook with our eyes so now you have to break down the peanuts this is how we cook cassava leaves but they have another way of cooking it guys but i'm just trying this um, new way because i overcook my meat so i have to take the meat out now i'm now i'm trying to cook the cassava leaf first before i pour the meat in it okay so i'm trying to break down my peanuts so you let it cook for a minute let me read some comments how are you guys doing today thanks for watching where is my peanut Maru, Maru, I will call Maru for me. Let me clean up. I have to put the spoons here. Alright, so while I'm waiting for the cassava leaf to boil, now I'm gonna pick my I'm gonna pick my fish. This is my kuta fish. We have a whole smoked fish. Right here. Why is Maru? Tell him to come read comments now. He's, he's, running, he's running away. So guys, this is scooter fish. Hey, don't burn my house. Oh, what is wrong with you? Tissue. The tissue just catch fire, guys. I turn it off. Okay, so I'll put this. Here. Hello. Hi Sharon. How are you? Chef Ruby is good. This is kuta fish. We're gonna put in the cassava leaves. I cannot cook um cassava leaf without smoked fish. I have to put smoked fish, guys. Sometimes I have to hide from the kids, you know, telling them that oh there is no fish in it, so they can eat. Some of uh, yeah, it don't put on a trash. Now agree so. No, no, that show you me ogre. I will buy some for you. Yeah, you put yeah, you put some for them plus as they very good. If you not get ogre, you use dandy. Then call her shrimp paste. Take picture for her. It ain't a happy market. Mm -hmm. Are they farmers market today, did they? So guys, I'm picking up my fish now. Uh, Sikora said, oh, you change your clothes. And that outfit is nice. Oh, thank you. These are the outfits I'm selling. You know, I have this outfit for sale for $75. You know, I have maybe four or five left. You know, so if you want them, try to call me. I have my number on my Facebook. You can call me, make a payment, then I can ship it to you. I have this outfit. I have um, African bracelets. I have African waist beads. The bags are gone. The bags, everything is gone. I don't have no more bags. Everything is gone. I, I brought like 20 bags. Everything is gone, guys. Authentic African bags from... From the motherland handmade you know everything is gone until i have the opportunity to bring more because those stuff you cannot find them around here somebody have to go and bring them and it's not cheap to bring them sometimes the stuff are very cheap but the shipment is very expensive those airlines they don't play they can charge you 300 350 for just 23 kilos from africa 23 kilos i don't even know what is 23 kilos because i'm sure those 23 kilos they are not 50 pounds 
There is no way they can be 50 pounds. But that's what they charge. 300, 200, 350. And the bad thing about Africa, they don't have one price. Anybody that you meet on the table, they give you their own price. Everybody have their own price. It's not like America where they have the price in the system. If it's 200, it's 200 you're going to pay. That's, that's why I was fighting when I was in Africa. Because somebody going to sit there and tell me, huh? Hey, that tissue so. At least I don't want Oh my God. This one. Outside. You know what I'm saying? Maybe I'll smoke one. Uh-oh. At least I don't want to smoke. sorry guys so yeah africa you're gonna go to someone they're gonna say 250 by the time you finish talking to them you're gonna see somebody coming behind them too no it's not 250 it's 300 then i'm gonna look at him like he just told me 200 so where you come from they're gonna say well i'm the boss i'm the boss that's my price till tomorrow is the is that price you're gonna pay then the other one gonna sit there now like they don't know nothing. And you two gonna stand there looking like a fool. You don't know who to talk to. So you're gonna end up paying that second or third price they're telling you. That's how they operate in Africa. Yeah. When I was there, I was fighting at the airport like a mad woman. I said, you guys are thief. And the moment you call them thief, they are so mad, then they keep raising the price. Or they will even stop you not to fly because you argue with them or because you're telling them the truth. So this is my smoke fish I'm going to put. Where is my other phone? So let me turn you guys here again. I, okay. Hold on. What happened? What is going on with you? My bones feel weak. Huh? My bones feel weak. Your bones feel weak. Okay, why your bones feel weak? Okay. So I'm mixing my cassava leaves right here, guys. The peanut butter is in there. So at this point, I'm going to start putting my meat in there. Like I said, I don't know if I'm going to put all the meat. Maybe that's enough for now. I'm going to save some meat. I'm going to save... Uh. Huh? I'm going to save some meat. Do you guys see the meat now in my cassava leaves? So if you are from Sierra Leone, now you know what Chef Ruby is doing right here. That's a lot of meat, so I'm not going to put all. Okay, let me check the camera. Hold on for me one minute. Right, 111586. So now I'm going to take uh, my fish and put my fish around it. Even this fish, I'm not going to put all. I'm just going to put some. I will save all this for another soup. So that's why you save your stuff. When you cook another soup, another soup, you put it in there. Janice, Marla said I was making grits in the pot. It slid, slid off the stove into my lap. One to one degree burn in the wheelchair. Oh! Can you say that one more time? I didn't understand everything. She said what? Miss Morris said I was making grits in the pots. Uh huh. It slid off the stove into my lap, and I had a one degree burn. First degree, oh. first degree, man. Well, first, degree. first degree burn. I'm so sorry to hear that. Oh my God! Please be careful. Just now, as I'm talking to you, my tissue was burning, so I took it. I tried to turn it off and put it in the trash. I didn't pay attention. If I didn't have somebody in the house that just went close to the trash, it was already burning, smoking. So it's very dangerous, you know? So you have to be careful. Whatever you do in life, just be careful, okay? I'm so sorry to hear that. Take care of yourself. So guys, I'm gonna put my habanero pepper and onions in here. Habanero peppers and onions, blended together. I'm gonna put it in here. Yeah, and said, are cassava leaf like greens? Yeah, cassava leaf is green. It's greens. But it's just different from spinach. It's different from potato leaves. Um, cassava leaf, before you blend it, it's, it's big leaves. It's like, let me explain. Cassava leaves is stronger. It's hard. The leaves are harder than potato leaf or spinach. I think that's how I can describe it. That's why when we're cooking it, we put a peanut, pin, creamy peanut butter so it can soft the lips. 
because the leaves tend to be mushy or dry or something, you know. So the reason we put in the um the, the creamy peanut butter to make it soft. So when you eat it with the rice, it's gonna be very soft, okay? So that's the difference between cassava leaves and potato leaves or spinach or cream cream. You know, all the leaves are different. But I know my Nigerian people don't eat cassava leaves because of, I don't know why. I'm gonna ask some Nigerian people one day why they don't eat cassava leaves. Because they give their cassava leaves to the goats. Let me taste it. Oh my God. Somebody come. Mmm, it's too good. Let me wash my hands. Try them all and see the one with it. So I'm going to continue to mix it. Now you're just going to mix it till the water is dry, then your cassava leaf is ready. And the only way you can know that the water is dry, you're going to see the oil. You're going to see the oil floating on the top. Then it's going to tell you that all oh, your cassava leaf is ready by by seeing the well um by seeing the palm oil the palm oil floating on the top that's all there is no big secret in cooking african food if you just know what to do in the kitchen it takes you 20 to 30 minutes to cook your food it's so easy let me read some comments hi sabrina how are you hi shakira how are you hi renita how you guys doing this evening did you guys love my fried chicken aleo and my fried lobster? Go to the website and order your coatings. The coatings are the bomb. Japanese you know? Uh -huh. have never eat cassava leaves or seen, or seen my ex Nigerian husband or friends to make them. She said she'd never eat it? Yeah. Like I said, I've never seen Nigerians eat cassava leaves though. And... According to what I'm hearing, they don't eat cassava leaves in Nigeria. And I don't know why. I have a Nigerian friend. I'm going to ask her. Go ahead and read the comments. Renita said, hey, family, I like cassava leaves. My brother-in-law from Liberia. Also oh, yes. Liberia, Liberia, Sierra Leone, um, Guinea, Conakry, Gambia, I think Senegal, Mali, we eat cassava leaves. I don't know for Ghana. I don't know for Nigeria. You know, Nigeria, I'm sure they don't eat cassava leaves. Like I said, I have a Nigerian friend. I'm going to ask her why they don't eat cassava leaf. Why they give my cassava leaf to the goats? Because they give it to the goats and let the goats chew all the good cassava leaf. So the day I'm going to land in Nigeria, I'm going to get us so much cassava leaf and dry it and blend it and bring it here. I'm going to take it from the goats and bring it here to the U.S. But they have to tell me the reason first why they don't eat it. Then whoever I'm going to visit in Nigeria, I'm going to make sure I cook cassava leaf for them, let them try it, so they will see the difference, okay? Thank you so much, yeah. You have to look elegant. You have to look, um, you have to look, <laughs> super what? Super B. Super what? Super B. Super B? Okay, you have to be super. <laughs> you are gonna take it from the goats. Yes, Miss Lolin. If I the day I'm gonna step my feet to Nigeria, I'm gonna take all that cassava leaf from the goats. The goats not gonna eat that cassava leaf by themselves. We're gonna share it because cassava leaf is our number one food in Sierra Leone. Cassava leaf and potato. Oh yes, cassava leaf. Yes, yes. Sabrina said it looks delicious. What's the number one food in Sierra Leone? Thank you, Sabrina. Tell me. Which one? You don't know. So why are you telling me? Uh-uh. This cassava leaf. Every Ogusi household. Soup. Huh? Ogusi soup. No, no Ogusi soup. Ogusi soup is from Nigeria. Cassava leaf is from Sierra Leone. It's, it's, an, it's not our number one dish, Nazma. Because it's easy to cook. It's very manageable to cook. You know, any household can afford to cook it. You know, so it's cooking now. And my rice is ready. Look at my jasmine. I just cook my fresh jasmine rice to eat with it. Basmati rice. Which one? 
Mm -hmm. said, I uh -huh. love your whole look. Oh, thank you so much. I love you too. And thanks for watching. Thanks for your support. Don't forget to go to the website and order all those beautiful seasonings over here. Now, um, this is our jug seasonings. Mad will take one bottle and show them. Put it close to them. Yeah, this is our jock seasonings. I put my kids' name on these seasonings. Rashida, Nazma, Maru, and Abu's um, jock flavoring. You can jock anything. Even me, I didn't realize that you can jock anything. You can jock shrimp, you can jock chicken, fish, goat, anything you want to jock. Show them the oxtail. Yeah, we have the oxtail. The same name, Rashida, Nazma, Abu, and Maru, or Maru and Abu. So you can oxtail your meats, any kind of meat, but mostly it's good on oxtail seasonings, okay? So guys, we have our seafood flavoring over here. We have our all-purpose, we have our all-purpose flavoring, and you guys just see the way I just put my coating. I just make some coating, chicken coating for you guys. So I already show you guys how we use the coating of the chicken. Guys, you cannot beat that. Turn the camera and let them see this cassava leaf. This cassava leaf is the bomb. Most of my American customers that used to eat my cassava leaf, they used to come all the time and looking for cassava leaves. Chef Ruby, I want two plates cassava leaf. Chef Ruby, give me three plates cassava leaf. They love it. It's so good. So now we are just waiting for the water to dry. Yeah, we can be it's jumping a lot so i'm gonna cover it let me show you guys <laughs> we're gonna cover it it's jumping too much i don't it's jumping all over the place i can't even eat it right now it tastes so good guys oh my god so we're gonna let it dry then we're gonna eat it with rice so turn this for let me read some comments somebody say something let me read who said. doing the, the dishes <laughs> Nana said, who is doing the dishes? My dear, the dishes sometimes is by luck. <laughs> Let me tell you about American kids. <laughs> Maru, should I talk? <laughs> Hi, Chef Ruby, how much for the jock seasonings? I want to try. If you go on the website, the jock seasonings, I only have the 16 ounce for $17.99. So just go on the website. You can order for yourself. Can you pin the website quick, Madu? Romana said, you look pretty today. Thank you so much. Miss Donna said, did she, um, did Sis Jariatu enjoy that good food? Yes, she did. Jariatu, did you enjoy the food? Love it. She said she loved it. I'm going to take Jariatu from her hand. If I start come to pick her up, she's going to say, you know what, baby? Sorry guys, we have to do this. Uh, let me see. What you say, Oh, this is hot.